Have you heard of the little eye? Hi, I'm Hadass and welcome to Tip Talk. In this chapter, I want to give you some tips on finding interesting keywords. Let's dive in. In this chapter, I want to introduce you to the I. I stands for information. A lot of more information that you can get on each and every object in your design. Let's see how we get there. I'm going to click on one of my objects and then at the top white bar I get this little eye in a circle which says info. Once I click on that, well, welcome to the gold mine. You have a lot of precious information here. To begin with you have the name of your object which is in this case white and jacket hands. Underneath that you have this clickable link where you can go to the creator's work and see more things that he did that might be a better suit for your design. Let's click on that and then you see on the left I get a lot of more options of these 3D hands. Maybe here I will find something that I like better. But that's not all. Let's go back to I and underneath this you have keywords. And these suggestions are also clickable. Once you hover over them, you can see that they are clickable, which means that you can get even more options for objects that suit this keyword. For example, if I'm going to click on gesture, I will get different kinds of photos, but they all have to do with hand gestures. And maybe this is what I am actually looking for. You have another thing that you can use this for, and this gives you ideas and inspiration for more keywords. Sometimes we are out of ideas, so we can just go to this keywords and look for our inspiration. We have a few more things under here. We have the option to add this object to a likes folder. If we think or we know that we would want to use this in the future and we are afraid we will not remember how we found it in the first place, we can add it to our likes. Once I click on this, I see here that it is saved to likes and I'm going to show you exactly where is this folder. Let's go to the black bar on the left and scroll down and find the folders tab. Once I click on folders, you see here likes folder. When I click on that, here is my object that I saved and it will be easier for me to search for it in the future. I can also remove it from my likes folder if I go back to I and just click on remove from likes. My other option is to save it to a folder. I can add it to a folder once I click on this. I can choose something that was shared with me or that is my own folder or I can create a new folder maybe hand gestures. I want to show you one more example. In this design let's say I want to search for this background photo but maybe find something that suits me better. I'm going to click on this, click on the eye and let's see what this creator has for us. And here you go, you see all his work and all his photos under here. By looking at these keywords, I can get a lot of more ideas for search words because looking for this kind of sky, I would probably search for sky or space or night or stars. But when I look at these keywords, I get a lot of more ideas. For example, tranquility, astronomy, galaxy, out of this world? Well, this is definitely out of this world. So I recommend you to always look at the information. You never know where it's going to take you. That's it. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any tips of your own for interesting keywords, do share them with us in the comments below. So I'll see you next time. Wow, thank you Adas for these precious tips and thank you for watching this video until the end. I have two playlists right here for those of you who want to go a bit deeper and keep learning. This one right here is a collection of step-by-step -step Canva tutorials. And this one gathers all of our Canva Space webinar recordings where Canva experts teach about all sorts of topics.